<laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I think uh, this meeting is quite important because uh, it brings together uh, politicians which uh, we uh, don't, do not see very often in, uh, in uh, concrete discussion about what's wrong. Experts, the civil society networks, and uh, um, I bring my experience as a professor at the University of Urbino, but also as a, uh, one of, uh, of the initiator of the uh, campaign Sbilanciamoci in Italy, which involves uh, 50 civil society groups who, and every year in the last 10 years, uh, produce these alternative budget proposals. Uh, and uh, we have also translated uh, both uh, after the crisis and we are now publishing the Italian version of Exiting from the Crisis, uh, which had uh, a quite uh, strong success in, in our uh, policy debate. I, th I, um, I found uh, a lot of uh, stimulating uh, analysis and I share most of them uh, in, uh, from what I heard in this morning and uh, in this session, so I will not repeat uh, them. I can only try to frame uh, the inequality issue in a slightly different words. Uh, I just uh, uh, I'm publishing a book about the Italian uh, crisis, which is, is called uh, nine out of ten, which means that uh, nine out of ten Italians are worse off than ten years ago, and the benefits of growth of the last uh, 20 years is basically gone only to the top 10% of the population, the forms of a rentier society, uh, financial rents, and uh, uh, extreme polarization of incomes. Uh, here I learned that probably for the European average the title could be uh, eight out of ten, <laughs> four out out of five, and perhaps if uh, uh, for some lucky Dan Danish or Swedish the title could be seven out of ten. <laughs> but uh, nevertheless, I think uh, this perspective on the social basis of the neoliberal project uh, of uh, uh, concentrating wealth uh, and incomes um, is, a, is a dramatic uh, change in what Europe used to be. And uh, the good news is that this can be a very strong social basis for winning the next election. Because if you have uh, an appeal to 70% uh, of the electorate with a, a really worse off uh, in terms of wages, uh, welfare protection, labor rights, uh, ecological sustainability, and so on, that could be an interesting uh, uh, way of unifying your different uh, uh, constituencies. So I think that that is a quite an important uh, uh, challenge to link uh, analysis and policy proposals and the social basis for uh, turning these policy proposals into sort of a, uh, election winning agendas. And I think this is very, very urgent because one thing that was not discussed enough in my view today is the devastating effect of the fiscal compact. Let me just give you three numbers. In the case of Italy, which is typical of half of the uh, weaker Euro European countries, we, have, uh, we are already in a recession. The, the, this year, the, the GDP is going to fall 2.2%. Uh, uh, this, uh, of course, there is a, the decoupling in the good news uh, between jobs and GDP, but uh, there is no decoupling in the bad news. So the jobs are going to decrease uh, probably three or four or five percent. Actually, we expect one million jobs being lost this year in Italy. You can multiply by five or six for, for other weak European countries. And in this context, uh, the fiscal compact uh, uh, imposes uh, not only the, the budget, uh, no budget uh, deficit, but uh, the reimbursement of one twentieth of uh, the debt, which in the case of Italy means uh, six percent of total public revenue. Uh, the public revenue is going to decrease by six percent for this requirement, by two percent because of the recession leads to lower taxes being paid, and by an additional two percent because uh, high interest rates are still very high in spite uh, of our neoliberal prime minister. And so this means that the, the public resources are going to be cut by 10%, which is really uh, multiplied by five or six uh, um, times uh, at the European scale. This means uh, clearly not a great recession, but a great depression. Basically, the total inability of European uh, economies as a whole to find uh, not, uh, not only a new growth model, but even an old growth model of any growth at all, and 
at the perspective of very dangerous uh, policy-induced uh, uh, devastating depression. In this context, uh, we have a uh, hope uh, in, uh, in a couple of months of, in the French uh, uh, elections, uh, um, because that's the only uh, pol policy change that the, in the short term can, can emerge. And I think we should be aware that uh, the, po the, the challenge to this fiscal compact has to be an important element in the, in the perspectives. Uh, clearly, this is, is one clearly short term element, and, and uh, the alternatives and the answers to the crisis have to uh, uh, include a variety of uh, different uh, conditions. So clearly, uh, um, demand side policies for uh, getting out of the crisis is important. Uh, in terms of uh, um, uh, restoring wages and uh, public expenditure and income protection. Uh, but uh, another aspect that has been uh, slightly f uh, ignored is uh, the importance of the real economy. We are not talking about uh, just macroeconomic aggregates, uh, because uh, even if you lower the wages of Greek workers, they are never going to be able to export Volkswagens just because they don't have the productive capacity. What we can imagine is, the, is a marriage between the need for an ecological conversion of the growth model and the role of Europe in funding with Eurobond, for instance, uh, these massive investments for the restructuring, the ecological restructuring of the economy. In this case, you can have the Europe spending some money, uh, the creating demand, the real economy uh, providing high quality jobs in terms of uh, wages and skills, and the uh, sustainability and ecological crisis being addressed. So there are a number of proposals that we can discuss at length in other stages that can bring together these things. I think that it's important to extend this debate and this sharing of ideas with the civil society networks, economist networks that are already quite active. So I think a next meeting point could be something like a European Social Forum. Uh, where these themes can be articulated uh, in terms of quality, in terms of uh, civil society activism. We, we should not forget that uh, October 15 uh, saw massive demonstrations uh, of the indignados in Spain and Greece. And, in, uh, and so there is a, 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 a society which is really reacting to the devastating effects of the crisis. Uh, and uh, there is a responsibility on our side to propose uh, viable ways to uh, provide pol policy alternatives. Thank you.